people want to know what you're doing. They ask what you're doing. I mean, here on campus, we get students, professors, staff asking what we're doing. When we're out, you know, in more wild lands, we have uh, police officers, sheriffs, border patrol agents just ask us what we're up to. We're a bunch of weird people digging in the bushes, climbing in trees. We tell them what we're doing and most of the time they said, oh yeah, I've seen that. I've always wondered what that is and I really want to know what it is. So this is Calaritis. This is a stem swelling gall. In this paper we describe a new discovery where we have found two groups of organisms. Parasitic insects that feed on plants and other parasitic plants that feed on plants are now interacting together so that the parasitic plant is attacking the insect parasite and feeding on it. These drows are gulls and they are formed by the wasp after it lays its eggs, venom, and different proteins. And these manipulate the tree's genome into creating these essential houses for the wasp to develop in. So we're looking at these bee treaty gulls and the vine that actually has wrapped itself around, almost making an S shape through them. And what it does is it uses these historia to break, to actually suction cup onto the gall and then it sucks them and breaks open the gall to expose its nutrients inside. And then it's using that to feed, we, we believe. So one of the most exciting things about this paper is we don't know the answer to who are the winners and the losers in this new interaction. We know that there are over 13,000 described gall forming insects across the planet. We know that there are over 4,000 different species of parasitic plants across the planet. This is the first time anyone has ever discovered these two organisms interacting on a shared host plant. So the opportunity for this being quite important um, is, is an open question.